Hey everyone, I'm Jason. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the firmware update on your Paradox Alarm panel. I've been getting multiple requests on this video. Sorry for the delay, but in this video, I will show you how to do the firmware update and also upgrade your panel from the 128 to the 256, which you have to do in order to get the latest update. But don't worry, in this video, I'm going to walk you through it. So let's get started. Okay, in order to do the firmware upgrade, we do need the in-field software. If you're not sure where to get it, head over to my website, jasonschannel.com, go to software, then Paradox, and it's a second option. Okay, so once you download and install this, open it up, this will pop up. So you have a couple options up here. So you got the serial. If you have the cable, you use this one. If you got internet, which is the IP 150, then you can use this option. So over here, you can enter your panel serial number. The password is Paradox. And now you have the internet. And over here, if you click this little icon here, it will search your network and look for the IP address. Then once it finds it, just click on it and it'll pop up here. Same thing, IP password is Paradox. Okay, I have my serial wire connected, so I'm using serial. Port is on automatic and it connect. The panel ID and PC password. Default is all four zeros. Yours might be different. If yours isn't the four zeros, check the description. I will have a link to a video on how to find your PC password. So as you guys can see here, it's the 128 and I do have the firmware version 6.90. So we need to upgrade this to the 256. Okay, once again, I do have all the links in my website. Go to jasonschannel.com. So to upgrade it from the 128 to 256, there is two firmwares. The first one you're gonna download is the 256K V1. And that's the one that's gonna upgrade it from the 690 to the 256. So we go here to the bottom, hit browse. So here's the two links I just downloaded. So we're gonna click on the V1. Okay, so there it is, upgrade 256 V1. Confirm it, then hit start upgrade. Yes. There, transferring is starting. Now it's validating. As you guys can see, it's counting down. There you go. Now it's completed. Press OK. Now it's going to reconnect back to your panel. So as you guys can see, it is at the 256K right now. It does say firmware version none, but don't worry about that. 
Okay, now we have to download that second one. So we're going to do browse and it's right here, seven dash oh one. This is the one we want. So click on there, hit open. Just verify it is the right one and now start upgrade. Same steps. So we just got to wait for this to finish as well. There, starting to transferring. So to do these upgrades, they're all pretty much the same steps. You just got to make sure that you don't skip ahead. You got to make sure you do go from firmer to firmer to firmer this way you're guaranteed not to have any issues with your panel. Like I said, head over to my, my site and I will have all the firmware versions right there ready for you. I am not fast forwarding this video. So this is how long it takes to do this. Just finishing up here now, 68. See, my keypad is reloading. It's validating the software we just installed. There it is. We got it completed. And press OK. Now it's going to reconnect to the panel. My keypad just came back on. Once again, enter your panel ID and PC password. You guys have it. So now we are on the Evo 192 256K version 7.01004. So now we switch to 256. So now we could download the latest version. I do like to do it in steps. So I do have the other folder here. So I'm going to do 750. I'm going to tell you why I'm not jumping to 752 in one second. So let's do this now. Upgrade. Okay, so we just got a pop up version 7.50.11. Upgrade is not reversible, not downgradable. So once you upgrade this, other than bug fix from version 7.0 by 11, and I think that's the one we're trying to install right here. I personally don't have an issue with this. I've upgraded panels and there's no issues whatsoever. Any new panel you buy now or any new panel that you get now, it is version 7.70 straight out of the box.
There you go, transfer completed. Press OK. Reconnecting. And there you have it. So now I'm just going to jump right to the very last one right here. So this is the latest version. There is no other version after this one. So start to upgrade. Validating. There you guys have it. So it's all completed now. And that's how easy it is to do the upgrade from the 128 to the 256. And that's how you get the latest firmware version as well. So now this panel is totally up to date. So guys, if you have any questions on this, please give me a comment below. If you like this video, hit those thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.